Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Today you're going to be doing the project pie chart of your life. And your final project should look something like this. And this is basically a description of how your time is distributed doing different activities of your life. So this is my life, all right? I sleep about 33.3% of my life, which is exactly a third of my life. And then I work about 30% and then church and all this other stuff. Uh, is filling up my time and so this brings awareness that man I do spend a lot of time sleeping and a lot of time working and maybe for you guys it's gonna look a little bit different and um, maybe for some of you guys the TV and YouTube and social media might just be huge right and so maybe seeing this at a pie chart will kind of give you the awareness man maybe I should cut down on some of my watching and so, um, yeah, so the purpose is to become more aware of how we spend our time so that we become wiser users of it, right? Uh, so instructions, you will create one pie chart that shows how you spend your time each week. So uh, every week I spend this much time doing all of these things. And um, make sure to show your mathematical reasoning as to why your pies on your chart is accurate. And then I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So if you guys take a look, I created Mr. Kim's life distribution. Um, so I eat, right? I eat about an hour per day, uh, including breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I eat seven times a week. Uh, so I have, you know, seven hours per week is devoted to eating. I exercise one hour every time I do exercise. I exercise five times a week. So one times five is five, right? So on and so forth. So I basically um, did this entire thing. And the only thing is that um, I didn't add anything for my church because my church is like, I spend some time on Friday and then some time on Saturday and Sunday. So it's kind of difficult to have like a consistent schedule around church. So I just put 21 hours. That's about how much I spend uh, doing church stuff every week. And so now um, your goal is to get this information and then put it into this table or this um, pie chart form, right? And I want to show, I want you guys to show your work here, right? Show your work, each of your work right here. And then, um, and then, so this is your mathematical reasoning part, right? To show and to justify why this eating takes up how much space in your pie chart, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys, um, I don't know, the sleeping, cause the sleeping seems like the biggest part of my day. And so for me to figure that out, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find out the total amount of hours, okay? Uh, that I spent doing stuff. So it's gonna be seven plus five plus 56 plus 56 plus 50 plus 21, 50 plus 21 plus nine, nine plus six plus 14. Okay, so that's about 168 hours, 24 times seven. So 24 times seven, so there's 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week. So that would be 168 hours per week. And as you guys can see, all my uh, activities added up right here equals 168, which makes sense because, you know, that's how many, um, that's how all of my activities fill up to be 168 hours per week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the work for sleeping. So I'm gonna do 56. 56, I go here, sleeping, 56 over um, 168, right? And that will give me the fraction, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna have to divide that a couple times. I'm gonna divide that by two, and 56 divided by two is 56, 56 divided by two is 28. 28 and 168 divided by 2, 168 divided by 2, 168 divided by 2, and that's going to be 84, so on and so forth. And I believe it's going to come out to be one third, right? So I'm going to do 84 divided by 24. Nope, never mind. Uh, 28, actually. 84 divided by 28. Yeah, so I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 28. And that's going to come out to one third.
because 84 divided by 28 is one third. So I can already know that one third um, is the entire uh, pi, right? Or one third of my life is taken up by sleeping. So then what I do is I do 360 degrees, uh, I do one third, one third times 360 degrees, and that would give me uh, one third times 360 degrees, 360 degrees divided by three is 120 degrees. 120 degrees. So on my pie chart, um, I want, I need to be able to see um, 120 degrees, right? So also I want you guys to solve for radians as well, okay? Um, I want you guys to find the degrees and the radians for this. So the radians is gonna be, um, you know, 30 degrees is pi over six. It's gonna be pi over six. So 30 degrees times four is 120 degrees. That's gonna be four pi over six, right? So I want you guys to also find radians as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I need, I know that it's gonna take about 120 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this protractor and I'm gonna bring it over here. And then I'm going to get 120 degrees, right? So I'm gonna start at zero. So zero is right here, right? And I'm gonna go all the way up to 120 degrees. So I'm gonna mark it like right here. Uh, that's 120 degrees right here, right? 120 degrees. So I'm gonna draw a line like that, 120 degrees. And then, uh, and then it's gonna go like that, like that, okay? And then I take off the protractor, okay? And then there you have it, right? I know that this right here is 120 degrees, 120 degrees, or I call it, uh, which is also the same thing as, uh, what did I say? Four pi over six, or four pi over six, and that is taken up by sleeping. Okay? All right, so that's basically how you do it, right? Um, I can do another one, I can do the one for work. So work is gonna be 50 hours, right? So I'm gonna go 50 over 168, 168. Um, and then let's see, work was about 30%. So I'm gonna divide the top by two, and the bottom by two, that's gonna be 25 over 168 divided by two. That's gonna be 84, 84, okay? So um, the, the fraction of that, of my life of working is 25 over 84. So 20 fifths of 84 parts, uh, tw 25 parts if the whole was 84 is how much <clears throat> of my life I'm spending working. So I do 25 times, 25 times, 25 over 84 times, um, 360 degrees, and that's gonna be 25 times 360, 25 times 360, uh, that's 9,000 divided by 84, 9,000 divided by 84, and that's gonna give me about 107.14, okay? That's, I'm gonna round it up to 107, and that's gonna be about 107, 107. Okay, and then I'm not gonna go ahead and find the radians, but I do want you guys to find the radians for that exact radians, right? So I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna get this protractor, and I'm going to grab it, and then I'm gonna go here, and I probably am going to have to rotate it to the right. Yeah. So I'm gonna go here, and um, I need to get 107, right? Okay, so gotta get it right. Or something, I don't know, this seems right, okay. Uh, and then I need to go 107, so this is, if this is zero, okay, actually I, I, I gotta rotate one more time. Rotate to the right one more time. Bring the, yep, right there. Okay, so I got zero, right? And then I gotta go to 107 because this is zero. And I gotta go 107 and that's about 107 right there. 
So that is 105. That's 105. 107 is going to be like right there. And then I'm going to draw like that. And then I move the right there. And so that right there is going to be one about 107. About 107 degrees. And I want you guys to put the radiance right there. Okay. And then I'm going to put right here working okay and then you guys can color it you know however you guys want to do it and so um, basically that's how you do it right I'm not gonna go ahead and do the entire thing because that's gonna take too much time but hopefully that's an example right um, of what you need to do um, and yep that's it and I hope that helps and if you have any questions let me know okay bye